Levy Jennings Plots in FCS Express 7. We will create Levy Jennings Plots for the three parameters shown. From the Insert tab, click New Spreadsheet. Click OK and move the spreadsheet to a blank spot of your layout. From the Batch Actions window, click on Export to Spreadsheet. To insert the date, drag and drop the first file to the Batch Process Action and select Keyword Token. Type dollar sign $date and click OK. Drag the first file again to the Batch Process Action, choose Statistic Token, select the parameters of interest, the gate, and the statistic, median or mean, and click OK. Click Run on the Batch tab to populate the spreadsheet. Depending on your cytometer, the date might come in as a serial number. If this bothers you, you can highlight the entire column, right-click, and format the cells as date. Add a column for days from start to facilitate this being shown on the x-axis of your Levy Jennings plots. Use the days formula, which works the same as in Excel. and do a column fill to fill the days from start for the rest of the rows. From the Insert tab, click Other, Levy Jennings, and click once on the layout to insert the plot. Change the x-axis to days from start and the y-axis to the fluorescence parameter of interest. You can duplicate the plot for the additional parameters and change their y-axis as needed. You can add more data files to the layout as needed as you continue your longitudinal quality control. Click once on the blue iteration number beside the new data file to show it as the active file within plots. Double click on the spreadsheet batch action to set it up to receive new data. Click on start at column A and uncheck the right row columns labels box. Click batch run. The data from the new files has now been written to the spreadsheet. Do a column fill in the Days from Start column for the subsequent data files. The QC data for the new dates is automatically displayed on the Levy Jennings plots. Click Format Overlays to access various formatting options. These include but are not limited to the WestGuard rules for determining out-of-control points, the shapes and colors for in-control versus out-of-control points, and lines on the Levy Jennings plots, including those for the mean and 1, 2, and 3 standard deviations from the mean.